Welcome back to part two in the Design in Prototype Messenger Chat UI series. In part one, I showed you how to design a Messenger Chat App UI in Adobe XD. In this video, I'll show you how to turn our UI into an interactive prototype. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on design code and tech. Also, turn on notifications so you'll be first to know when new videos are released. Now that we got that out of the way, let's jump right in. In the same XD file we used in part one, we're going to import the following UI elements from the iOS iPhone X UI kit and place them onto the pasteboard. You can copy a UI element from the iOS iPhone X UI kit by pressing Command or Control C in the iOS XD document, and then in our main XD document, press Command or Control V to paste the elements. It's important that the elements sit and fit on their own artboards. For the iOS alert UI, customize the message and combine it with the keyboard light numeric keyboard on one artboard. Now that our artboards have been set up, I'll first show you how to turn our message UI into a scrolling messages screen. First, move the iPhone X template off to the side so that we can easily select the other UI elements behind it. You may need to unlock some elements by pressing Command or Control L on your keyboard. Now select the messages group, then activate the repeat grid by pressing Command or Control R on your keyboard. Make sure that it's sent to the back by pressing Shift, Command or Control left bracket. Drag the handle down so that it extends beyond the artboard, revealing several messages. Select the artboard and drag it down to the last message. Now, select the entire navigation area, including the iPhone X home indicator, and click on Fixed Position. Do the same thing with the header area and the yellow chat button just above the navigation area. Last but not least, move back the iPhone X template and select Fixed Position. Now, with the Messages artboard selected, click the Desktop Preview icon. As you scroll down the messages, the header, navigation, and chat button remain fixed. Feel free to take this one step further by customizing the messages to make it even more realistic. Next, I'll show you how we can add our notices and keyboards for this chat UI. Switch to prototype mode. Now let's wire our splash screen to our messages screen, set transition to dissolve and duration to 0.4 seconds. Move the iPhone X template so that we can select the first messages group and then wire it to our chat UI artboard. Set transition to sly left and duration to 0.2 seconds. We're also going to select the phone icon in the navigation area and wire it to our phone notice artboard. This time, select overlay, set transition to slide up and duration to 0.2 seconds. Move back the iPhone X template. To prototype our chat UI, first unlock and move the iPhone X template so that we can select objects behind it. Select the left arrow and wire it to our messages UI. Set transition to push right and duration to 0.2 seconds.
Now, select the text input area and wire it to the default keyboard. Set overlay to slide up, easing to ease out, and duration to 0.2 seconds. We're also going to select the smiley icon and wire it to the emoji keyboard. We'll use the same overlay settings as the default keyboard. Finally, in the navigation area, select the phone icon and wire it to the phone UI. Set overlay transition to slide up, easing to ease out, and duration to 0.2 seconds. Now that we've wired interactions between our artboards, click the desktop preview button and click around our interactive messaging UI prototype. You can even take this one step further by downloading the Adobe XD app on your phone to see how it works on your mobile device. There you have it! You've just turned a simple messaging chat UI into an interactive prototype right in Adobe XD. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to ExoPixel for more great videos just like this one. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video in this series.